Let's take a look at how the measurement window works using an ISIS. The Chromix measurement window is very flexible and can use all different kinds of reference files for defining the target that's going to be measured. Of course, when using an ISIS, you need to have a reference file that includes in the header all the information about the patch dimensions, the bar size, all that stuff. So you do need to use a reference file that is made for the ISIS. Any of the chart definition files that the XWrite software puts out will work here. You can use one of these saved workflow files, or a TXF file, or a tab delimited text file that includes the header information. If you have a text file made in an old version of Measure Tool, that will work too. If you have a choice, we'd recommend using a TXF file saved out of i1 Profiler. Once you have the instrument and target set, it will connect and calibrate automatically. Then you just need to feed in the chart to be measured. Here's where the software will automatically start measuring. Couldn't be simpler. While this is measuring, let's look at the options at the bottom. The original ISIS can only measure using M0 and M2. The new ISIS 2 can measure using M0, M1, and M2. Many of the rest of these options are grayed out because they're not changeable with an ISIS. Note that you have to select a measurement mode before you start measuring, of course. The ISIS handles the transfer of two rows at a time, so that's why the blue lines are two rows wide. With the Maxwell Client software, the measurement parameters at the bottom are usually already preset in the Maxwell online reference set and are not changeable in the measurement window. While measuring using the client, you may see some corner tick marks on some of the patches. This shows the patches that are out of tolerance for the color aim you're comparing to. You won't see these in other versions of the measurement module. When the target is finished measuring, the Save button activates automatically, and your measurement goes off to be processed. One of the beauties of using the ISIS with Chromix products is that it's very simple. There's not much to it and not much that can go wrong. Thanks for watching.